hello friends today i'm going to show you how to create storage credentials how to connect uh, how to map uh, to the external storage accounts in uh, databricks azure databricks so right now if i go here this is my uh, comp uh, databricks workspace okay so for this I, I would like to map some external storage account for that i'm going to uh, already my SQL, I mean, what I mean, uh, my Databricks service account is managing, uh, will have this storage account by default, but I would like to map another one. I mean, this is by, this is going to by default, uh, that one only. Now I want to map, as I uh, my, uh, there is a data in separate storage account. I want to map that storage account as well to my Databricks workspace. For that, what uh, first I will go to the storage account so i am going to i'm going to create that so already testing this is g okay this one now i am going to create one separate one uh, like i'm creating this one storage name is like testing 004 i'm and i'm selecting premium i'm selecting block blobs and proceed to next here here you need to select uh, enable hierarchical namespace next 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 uh, finish so done so I have created the storage account then now what I need to do here is I uh, to have connection between storage account like uh, other not only this storage if any other cloud service storage account you want to connect so especially from Azure side uh, you need to have access connector for Databricks so this is the old one I have created or uh, now to make use that make sure that if you want to connect Azure uh, access connector wherever you have installed if I go here so here I have created in the send use to us right so now I need to create that access connector here from uh, East US only. Now click on create, select the resource group of anything and East US. Now uh, like testing demo, I will, I would like to give you that. Next, next here, manage and is on, next. Yeah, this one is good, this one is good, yeah now you can create now once this got created for the storage account we need to give the storage blob container container for this access creator access connect creator okay now go to the storage account uh, it got created now go to access connector and so now not this one now go to this storage container and go to access control i am page here click on role assignment or uh, you can give add role assignment here you can type uh, storage blob contributor you need to select the storage blob container proceed to next here manager entity select members here uh, now this one here which one I need testing demo here you need to give the testing demo uh, I mean uh, this one is not required for us for me okay so uh, this one testing demo I have given press ok now pre next next review and assign now that access connector is having permission on uh, for on storage account okay now I'm what I'm going to do I am going to create a container why because I would like to give a permission on container now I'm giving a prod now prod okay whatever it could be that the table so now I want to give, I would like to give this prod table okay so meanwhile what I would like to upload this file so come to browse and come to Azure I am here I am giving some output file 
upload so I am saving here now okay so okay so th that's how uh, I mean I have uploaded some data here okay now this is done now go to here now refresh this my computer is also available now go to catalog go to catalog meanwhile you need to create the first you know in order to create the external location you need to have create first you need to create a credential now click on credential here you need to provide the credentials name Azure uh, here by default in the credentials name we are providing the container name first uh, as a best practice so that we came to know whether it is going now we need to provide the access connector ID to access connector ID we need to go to the uh, this one now go to this one here copy this resource connector ID here you paste it now click create it got created okay now in real time like what uh, we are going to do we are going to give the permissions for our group DL okay now it is done okay so now you can remove we also uncheck this box why because we are going to uh, use uh, especially for one workspace only now we have created uh, the credential now it is done 004 now go to create location now click on create now what we are going to do here we need to give the storage name uh, that uh, storage name iPhone container name container name is prod right so panda now here we need to give the uh, like ABS path select that this one the test 004 identity and we need to select uh, give this path now ABA ABF uh, to make sure that uh, instead you can open notepad or meanwhile you can type it here a b f s s colon forward slash forward slash what is the container name uh, prod so prod at the date at the date storage account name okay storage account name dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net okay if you want to provide the path so you can slash and you can give uh, this file as well now go to container go to container and go to prod and you can give this one as well like this but we are not giving the file directly to the we are giving the container so uh, this is not required so this is enough for us like container name is there or the of testing is there DFS now we can copy like this done I can you can remove this one and create once it is done again go to permissions and you have to grant and everything so before that before that you need a test connection click on test connection see everything should be success here okay in in our real time we have to grow grant the permissions and everything uh, like what kind of privilege privileges that we require and everything we are going to give for those uh, like um, for all those users okay now this is done now go to new workspace new notebook now we have mapped we have mapped to this work I mean generally we uh, workspace we have to map the catalogs but uh, as of now I didn't uh, mean this is my machine only right now I can DB utils dot file system dot ls underscore so dbfs what is that path I need to again oh, wait a minute uh, go to catalogs so now yeah, I go to here now you need to copy this okay again you're gonna click on credentials and next thing now go to uh, recents 
move to this one now this one now click execute So we can see the files is there. So in order to uh, make meaningful uh, like display, now I can copy some display. Now I can use I can copy these files. Do you have paste it and execute so that you will uh, we can see all this information in uh, like uh, tabular format. Okay. So this is how now if you want to read another thing and now we can now we can uh, use spark.csv as well uh, you can spark dot read dot csv uh, sorry csv now see here it is going that yeah this one now we can click that so we can see the data as well here uh, instead of that uh, reading like that so what I can do here I can split display so I can use like this now you can uh, instead of writing this word I can load that into a uh, like uh, data frame data frame is equal to now if I do that so data will get loaded hard now if anywhere if you want you can directly use display and you can use DF so automatically you can get the data here this is not displaying no problem so that's how uh, we can read that uh, I mean uh, we can uh, map we can map to the um, external path to the required workspaces and this is how we need to create the storage credentials and uh, storage external locations now you can go to the catalog and you can select and go and create create your own catalog and provide works I mean required workspaces to that required DL so I hope uh, you may like this video thank you